It's peak week though. Fuck. Peak week. <coughs> peak week. Peak week. You got carbs? I have a little bit so far, but it's better. <laughs> yeah. last, you actually look better than the yesterday. The last few days have been hell. The last four, 24 hours was pretty interesting. It was. Uh, yeah. You know what's really bad? Allergies. Peanut allergies. Yeah, especially when people <laughs> don't read plant-based proteins that explicitly say peanut. Yeah. Your peanut. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut allergies mm -hmm. are bad and can be life-threatening. They definitely can. And warrant a trip to emergency departments of a hospital. Yep. And a very frantic phone call that someone has died. <laughs> That's right, because all I did was just say, yeah. there's an emergency, you have to come to the shop. Yep. I didn't actually say what was the Nope. You, so I, did you think someone's died? I thought... So. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, someone's dad is in hospital at the moment yeah, and right. when i get a phone call saying okay i need you to close the gym now there's been a family emergency come to the shop right now okay yeah. cool so the first thing i imagined was someone has died <laughs> someone had an adverse reaction to yeah. peanuts yes yeah which could have been very serious could have been and very i couldn't serious. believe how quickly it came up yeah anyway it wasn't me no anyway moving right along <laughs> Pick Ari. week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ari can pick where the start is. So we're three days out. Mm -hmm. Three days out of the uh, ICN Adelaide Classic. Uh, so you've got through your depletion. Yes. We haven't trained much because uh, well, I've had that injury, which is mm -hmm. getting better, but I've just been so busy with the comp. Um, so you just did a basic depletion training? Yeah, three days depletion training, um, practically carbs. Full body. Full body, well, yep. it was upper lower than full. Yesterday was the last day of full body training. Uh, just that so was- So what's your training now in the last, so the show's on Sunday, mm -hmm. so what are you gonna do in terms of training now? I am training up until Saturday. Yep. So it's gonna be an upper lower full body again. Intensity is very low, so the intensity goes down as carbohydrates come back up. Just basically to push the glycogen around the Yes, body. get everything back to, where, yep. back to some sort of normality. Uh, linear, Car, uh, carb loading, so starting on a moderate carb, moving on to like a full body, a higher, a higher day yep. as the, you know, the intensity ramps down. So today's training is just going to be upper body, two working sets, maybe ten to twelve reps each set, very very light, just moving everything around, get the body moving, keep the body moving. Yep. Um, but yeah, cool. The hardest part has been done. The first round of hair removal, tanning starts tomorrow night. Uh, sleeping completely stiff uh, so you, the tan doesn't, you know, <laughs> block. I used to sleep in a real oversized t shirt and tracksuit pants. Yep. Well, yeah. and you still got to then, if you don't already, I would suggest you just go to Cheapest Chips yep. and buy a $5 set of sheets and then you throw them away. Funny enough, Kia's doing that now. Yeah. She's yeah. at work. <laughs> um, and then she's going to the shops to get a really cheap che uh, sheet set, put that on the bed. Yeah. Uh, you just throw it away. It's not worth yeah. washing. Yeah. Very good. It's, been, it's an interesting. It's an interesting one. Cool. Mm. So three days out. Tickets, yep. everyone, are for sale at the door. We have had increased capacity, so there is no issue with tickets. So tickets are forty dollars um, for either show, sixty dollars all day, or twenty dollars for aged pensioners and high school students. Children under twelve are free. So, urge you to now come along, support the local um, mm -hmm. bodybuilding community. We've yep. got some really good competitors. There's, there's what, seven or eight in your class? There is. That's going to be a cracker of a division. Mm -hmm. um, there's like 23 bikini novice. Good. Which will be split up, obviously, into uh, height classes. Mm -hmm. But so, yeah, the numbers are really good. I think the standard, I think this show is going to be really, really good. There's some, in all the female divisions, men's divisions, the pictures I've seen, there's going to be some really great stand. Yep. So, uh, yeah, tickets at the door, F Post facilities available. Um, come and support the local bodybuilding community. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fun day. Yes, looking forward to it. Mm. Uh, all right, new products. What have we got? Yes. We, we've only got one new product this week. One. And it's something that I just threw in quickly uh, research to find, because I've had a few people asking, and this is the Tudka. 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 So it's a liver support. That's all it's for. Generally. Yeah. Yep. So it's basically, look, uh, guys, 
If you're on, on uh, any PEDs, highly recommended that you go on Tudka yep. as well, uh, during uh, and after, just mm -hmm. as a liver support, liver cleanse. Yep. Uh, look it up, it's very well researched mm. um, and it's got a lot of backing behind it. Yep. So definitely, uh, anything else, if you are putting your body under also um, under stress, a bit of alcohol, etc., cetera, Tudka's also yep. good for that. Everything goes through the liver and kidney. Yep. So keep your liver healthy, keep your kidneys healthy, get on Tudka. Yep. Keep everything clear. That's right. Mm. Uh, now back in stock, we've got some uh, restock. So back in stock, EHP Labs Beyond BCA EAAs will be back on Monday. EHP Labs were out of stock for a few days and they just confirmed to me last night that he's been sent. So I won't get it today, but we will get it Monday. Also, we've got a special this month, EHP Labs Oxyway, four flavors available, chocolate, mm -hmm. vanilla, cheesecake, raspberry ripple cheesecake, vanilla, chocolate, and peanut butter puffs. Yep. Choc caramel is back in the next order. And you get a free shaker with it this month. Free shaker. Yep. Also, BSN Synthesis Edge is starting to come in. We've got three flavors back in stock now, which is your good old chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And also, this month, a free shaker. With every... Big tub. Five pound purchase. Yep. Free shaker. Free shaker. Wow. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> and also, uh, is it the optimum way as well? Yes. It is. Yep. You so the optimum it. way, five pounds, and also a free, free shaker. shaker. So that yeah. means we've got lots of free shakers. Lots of shakers. Yep. Done. Oh, Muscle Nation custard. We have still got the Muscle Nation brownie mix. Is still. Um, available so we've got limited stocks available so while stocks last buy any custard get a free brownie mix yep i plan on doing what i did a few, said a few weeks ago making this putting try that make it. on this when it's all done because who doesn't love a nice brownie with some custard yep. i'm i'm akin i like the cakey brownies myself Rather than the denser, so you know when you get a, you know when you have a brownie, you got either you get the, like the dense squares. I like the dense squares. Yeah, you're weird. Uh, yeah. Cake, cakey brownies are the way to go <laughs> for myself anyway. If you're, you, you know, I'm food based. <laughs> Mm. Got a couple of questions. We do. We got one question into three parts from Carlo 2024. Yep. Um, why don't I see Kim or Adrian squat, bench, or deadlift in their socials as a beginner? I thought these were the top three muscle builders. Now, can I answer this one? Sure. All right, one, we're not beginners. Nope. I've been training 35 years. So uh, why don't I squat anymore? I have really bad shoulder impingement, which <clears throat> means that I cannot hold the bar. Str doing this straight away, I can feel it on my shoulder. And I actually get very bad shoulder pain. Second reason I don't squat anymore is because I don't want to, because I squatted for 25 years, solid, non-stop. And at my age, I really don't need to, and I don't want to. Uh, and I'm gonna ask, uh, answer on behalf of Adrian, because Adrian has got fucking big quads already and doesn't really need to. No, but if you go back through our socials, there are bench squats and deadlift there videos are. anyway, and they're just not in this program. No, and no. we do bench. We, we do. do still bench. Um, our, our last current program had bench press in there. Mm -hmm. And we deadlift, but we've been using a trap bar, yeah. diamond bar deadlift in yep. the recent programming, just for something different. Yeah. So yes, and I do agree with you that these are the top three muscle builders as a beginner. And if your body allows it, you should really get good at those yes. three lifts. I would call these the foundation lifts. Yep. Get so, good yes. at them, get strong at them, do them consistently week in, mm -hmm. week out, and you'll get results. Yep. I don't, so I'm going to address this myself. One, I don't squat as much anymore because I've got horrible, horrible knees. Um, I do bench and I do deadlift just very rarely. Yep. So, yeah, and <laughs> I think after this comp, we most, most probably will go back into regular deadlifting yeah, again. I think so. But I do like the trap bar deadlift. I do too. So I have told you that uh, once, apart from me in, being injured on the trap bar <laughs> Yeah, deadlift, funnily enough. That's interesting. Um, I'd like to get a 200 kilo trap bar deadlift yeah. before I go back to standard deadlift. Mm -hmm. Feel the way. So, uh, now he also asked, also our thoughts on the 5x5 five five strongman split. 
as in three exercises per session, three by five squat, three by five bench, three by overhead interchanged with three by five squat. What the hell does that mean? Three by five, by, three by, okay, five by five. Look, um, any program works as long as you apply that program and apply progressive overload to it, yep. it's gonna work. Yeah, so I mean, if this is a strength powerlifting program, to improve your competition squat, bench, and deadlift, well then yes, as long as you are improving through, through that program, meaning that you're doing, in, getting stronger, mm -hmm. increasing the weight for your three by five, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, well then it's working. Yeah, the best workout split is the one you can stick to and the one you can apply progressive overload to. Yeah. So that's, but what do we think of it? Hey, it works because the, Five by five, they follow a, a linear progression by increasing, oh, instead of being 70%, 75%, 80%, 85%, over a six to 12 week period, they're still yep. applying that progressive overload. Um, so yeah, it works, I've done it. Yeah. I've done it in the past nine different. Yeah, but so does, so does three by 20 mm. or whatever. You know, I, think, I think everyone is still looking for some sort of magical The magical program, program yeah. Yeah, you know, mm. and, it's, and it's just, it's, they, they are all magical programs yep. as long as you apply yourself to that program. Mm. That's, it's, it's as simple as that, you know? And it's, it's, it's even with Mike Pearson, he always gets sick of it on his stories where people ask him and he, and he, he squats, benches, deadlifts and does barbell curl. He don't, they don't do anything yeah. secret. Funnily enough, I actually have a funny story about Mike. I was talking to Mike a few days ago and he asked me, oh, send me a progression shot. And I said, no. So uh, he's just like, oh, I want to see the natty, what natties look like now. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool. So I sent him a photo this morning and he immediately sends me back an eggplant emoji. That's all I got back. You <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you got the photo there that you can show? Don't show them. No, I don't have it. No, I don't have it. It was through Instagram. So it's just one of those, like, it just deletes straight oh. away. But that's the first thing he sent me. So you by. sent him a nude shot? No, God, no. <laughs> no, I sent him just a, just a, pretty much the same one I sent you. Yeah. But he immediately sent an eggplant emoji back. So thanks, Mike. <laughs> Followed by, no, uh, yeah, a death face and then the following. Just, it was fun, so. If you, if you haven't already, follow Mike Pearson on Instagram. I mean, the guy's a beast when it comes to his mm -hmm. training. Did you see his dead the other day? Yeah, and he's got the hugest waist of eight, 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 eight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into this, but I'm going to get into this. Yeah, oh yeah, but what he did, he did um, 270 for 10. Yep, touch and go. 300 for five stop and go. Yep. And 310 for a single. Mm -hmm. um, but he's just, he's just a beast when it comes to his oh, training. Yeah. He's, yeah. And deadlift, yeah, yeah, what, so 270 for 10, 300 for five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck, Mike, your waist is going to blow yeah. out. There is... Mm. No, we'll leave it. Yep. <laughs> You're not going to touch that one. No, that's and it. And also, squeezing does not activate the muscle more. Just throwing that there as well. You know what makes <laughs> muscles activate more? You, can you take a wild guess, Kimmy? Lifting more weight. There you go. Mm. Squeezing does jack. There you go. Fuck there was actually a good thing I did see. Um, Adam O'Mackey put it up. Yes. And I don't know if you saw it, it was on his story, and it was a difference between men and women when it comes to training. I did see that, and, yes. And I th it sort of resonated with me because he was correct. He goes that... Oh, good, mate. No, and we're back. And we resume. Um, yeah, so he put up this... It was just an image, you know, but the difference between men and women. And it, and it sort of resonated, and I thought he was right. He was going that men, when it comes to training, would generally try to lift way more than they can yep. with any effective control for muscle building. Whereas women will then have the perfect form but don't have the confidence to then lift heavier, yep. heavier weights. And he's sort of right. Mm. I see girls, and when you see girls' Instagram videos, you see them doing lat pull down or something, and it's the most, this slow, or rows, you know, it's, it's absolutely perfect form. Yep. You know, but then when you're watching it, you're thinking, that weight is way too light. That you could still execute that good form mm -hmm. uh, with most probably 30, 40% more weight. Yeah. But then you see guys throwing up, excuse me, some incredibly stupid weights yep. 
with horrible, horrible form. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was just an interesting thing as well. You want to see some controversial stuff? Follow Adam O'Mackie. Mm. Shout out to Adam O'Mackie. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. That's it. I think we're done. Yep. Uh, as always, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle, the gym. And before we go, I reckon cut that bit out. Yep. So just before we go, we just want to add in that our Primabolics seminar is yep. on this Tuesday the 20th at 6 p.m. at Australian Muscle. Now, I was thinking about this seminar that if you are competing on the weekend, this really is a seminar that yep. for competitors really, really important. Uh, all about you're getting your hormonal balances right, your cortisol levels. Now, you're, you're into peak week now. You've been training like an animal for 20 weeks. Your sleep's been shit. You've been using lots of stimulants, lots of caffeine to try to keep going through. Your cortisol levels are going to be pretty, sh pretty yeah. mixed up. Oh, yeah. Now, you and were complaining the other day about I, your sleep. I, I have been doing on top of my cortisol levels the entire prep. Mm. I've tried my best. I've used, I yep. use them. Um, you know, adrenal switch. Yep. I've been using. I I actually got a sleep formula last night from the shop. I used Dozer last night, and that and apparently, according to my Fitbit, I had a eight hour and fifteen minute sleep, which is the most I've had in, I want to say, close to four and a half months. Yep. So so look, yeah. this free seminar will cover all of that. Mm. So if you're struggling with recovery, struggling with poor sleep patterns, yep. tired during the day can't sleep at night, etc. So this seminar is for you. And just generally for anyone about good hormonal health, hormonal balances, etc. this really is a, a, a great opportunity to hear from someone who is an expert in this field, yep. in Will Warren Davey. Um, so that is this th uh, Tuesday the 20th at Australian Muscle Salisbury mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Ari will put up the little tile on here. Um, get onto it. Like these, these sorts of seminars don't come around often, you know. Um, we've got limited space for about 20 or 30 people at the most, so um, just give us a hoy on our socials or call us and um, we'll make sure that there's a chair for you. Yep. So get onto it. That's it. That's We're it. done? We're done. Thanks guys, thanks for tuning in. As per normal, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle The Gym and Australian Muscle Online. With free Australia-wide delivery. Free Australia-wide delivery. If you've got any questions, anything, hit us up on our socials. We'll do our best to answer us. Uh, and we'll catch you guys next week. Bye-bye. See ya.